Good afternoon, everybody. Glad you could be watching wherever you are. Today is May 26, 2023 at 6.05 p.m. Standard Time. And we have a few things that I'd like to put out there for everybody to read, think about, and, you know, just think about it. Make your own decision. Um... You know, you don't have to take my word for it. You don't have to take their word for it. I just put together a bunch of information that you otherwise may not see, but probably have seen. Who knows? And it's something I think that we all need to know and talk about. <clears throat> so there's a few things here. Uh, a couple of them I just want to mention. Uh, and other couple things I just, you know, I want to read a couple articles to you. Um, and the articles I do read, I will leave in the case. So uh, let's take a look at these articles here. Here, I have an article, but it's just a video, but I'd like to find another one. All right, let's take a look at this here. Let me shorten this down. I have it wide so that uh, <laughs> my small eyes can read it. So let's take a look here. It says, Peruvian police sees 58 kilograms of cocaine bearing the pictures of a Nazi flag. What they don't realize is this symbol here was actually, if you look it up, it goes back to uh, uh, being part of a religion. It really had nothing to do with evil. Uh, Hitler's the one that made it evil, but that's we're not here to talk about that. So take, like, look at this. It says Hitler, and it's got the swastikas. I just find it. Real suspicious, you know. How did they know that this here was going to say this to open it like this? Normally, from what I've seen, they just take a thing, take a sample out, and they test it. Right? They don't open it like this that I've seen. Uh, I've watched a lot of DEA shows and stuff like that, and I've never seen them do this, open it up like that. They was it's like they knew that that was under there or something, right? Uh, I just, and I find it suspicious that Joe Biden just talk, talk, talk about white supremacy. Then this, well, first of all, um, the tr the U-Haul van, uh, breaking up on the sidewalk and hitting a, a couple of barriers, right? You've got. That man, um, white supremacist with a Nazi flag, which I thought was a little weird too. And then you've got this, which is so much even more weirder. It says the Peruvian anti-drug police have seized 58 one kilo packages of cocaine destined for Belgium, bearing a picture of a Nazi flag on the outside and the name Hitler printed in a low relief. The discovery occurred in the port of Peta on Peru's northern Pacific coast, close to the border with Ecuador, or I think that's Ecuador. Ecuador? Yeah, Ecuador. The drugs were hidden inside a shipping container carrying asparagus on the Liberian flag vessel SC Arasia R that had earlier anchored in uh, Ecuadorian port, according to police report obtained by Associated Press. It said the shipping, the shipment was destined for a port in Belgium. So weird. It's, uh, you know, the Peruvian police anti-drug director showed videos and 
photographs to AP revealing that the drugs were inside a ventilated system of a container. Police continued to search the more than 80 containers on that vessel. Peruvian authorities have previously reported finding cocaine in brick-shaped packages with various and strange symbols but never one with the flag of a nazi of nazi germany that's what's weird about it it says peru is the world's second largest grower of cocoa leaf according to the united nations and the second largest producer of cocaine according to the u.s drug enforcement administration let's not forget that the u.s actually makes cocaine in a small town in america just putting that out there let me know what you think about this. I just find it very, very weird that Biden has done all this talk about white supremacy. You know, the guy with the U-Haul trunk, the U-Haul truck, who isn't white, had a Nazi flag. Then you've got this with Nazis and whatnot all over it. So, I think it's it's just, to me, it's suspicious. And usually when my gut tells me it's suspicious, uh, it usually turns out to be usually feds involved, planted material, what have you. I'm not saying that's what this is. So, don't freak out, YouTube. I'm just saying it has happened before. So, let me know in the comment section i will put the link to this and i'll also put a link to uh a video it just pretty much tells you the same you know the same thing as that right um and so yeah just leave a leave, let me know what you guys think right don't take my word on any of this you know go to the links look at it read it and then let me know what you think about the whole you know the whole thing and um yeah just why not you know share with the community um you know i'm trying to make a good community here where people can talk and uh, not have to worry about um talking like children you know we can talk like adults um the best thing you can do is, you know, subscribe and like, but go over to Rumble and uh, um, join me there and subscribe over there. Um, I will leave a link to my Rumble um, page in the description. Okay, so let's go on to this next article here. And so it says here, where is it? It says, Ukraine says Russia plans to simulate an accident at the nuclear power plant. This was posted an hour ago by Reuters, Routers, however you say that. This is an older photo last year sometime. Okay, it says Ukraine's defense minister on Friday said Russia is planning to simulate a major accident at the nuclear power station controlled by pro-Moscow forces to try to thwart a long-planned Ukrainian counteroffensive to retake the territory occupied by Russia. <clears throat> the Zaporozhye, the Zaporozhye plant which lies in the area of russia occupied southern ukraine is europe's largest nuclear power station and the area has been repeatedly hit by shelling that both sides blame each other for now why would 
Russia has the power plant. They're there. It's running. Why would Russia shell themselves? The to anybody, does that make any sense? That's like saying Russia blew up their own pipeline. Why would they blow up the pipeline when they can just go over and shut the valve off? Doesn't make any sense, right? It says um, the defense ministry intelligence director said Russia's forces sh would soon shell the plant and uh, and then announce a radiation leak. This would face an investigation by internal authorities during which uh hostels would be stopped well really they already investigated the shelling and um these investigated bootlickers of course didn't say who did it said that i believe they said they couldn't come to a conclusion but both sides need to knock it off really you can't tell which way shells come from most people can and why would russia shell themselves so you're just going to take your crane's word for it right it's crazy it says the director the directed statement posted on telegram did not provide any proof it any proof it said russia had disputed the plan radiation of inspectors from the international atomic energy age who are based at the plant okay here it says the vienna based uh, iaea which frequently posts updates on the plant has made no mention of any disrupt disruption so i forget um james o'keith has i forget how he says it but um pretty much says it that um ukraine and the west are saying that russia is doing exactly what the u.s and ukraine is doing i forget the words but um like anybody with two stones between their ears knows that this is BS and that they would you know why why would they destroy power to their own people let alone power to Europe just doesn't make any sense just like the um the gas pipeline why would they blow up their own pipeline when they can just go over and turn the nozzle off doesn't make any sense not only that two a Biden and a woman also said that they would deal with the pipe right just saying just saying so let me know what you guys think in the in the in the comment section anyways so let's take a look at this one <clears throat> it says and this was posted uh five hours ago by global news uh in canada it says the wagner group may be smuggling maybe smuggling weapons from mali to ukraine the united states treasury says give your fucking head a shake the u.s treasury said thursday it has sanctioned a key member of the wagner group the private militant that has had uh increasingly influencing influencing role in the war in ukraine the statement in a statement the treasury official said that the move targets ivan alask or alask and block all of his property and holdings in the united states malasov is a russian national and is allegedly based in mali africa heading up the militants operation in that country the treasury says those operations including trafficking war equipment to ukraine where the wagner group is operating as a private militant to support the russian invasion come on like give your head a shake um here they go again saying that russia's doing what ukraine is actually doing um i've seen a video where an average citizen was carrying a javelin down the street that he had just bought from somebody. I have also seen uh, articles up on the dark web. If you wanted to buy a javelin or there any guns or what have you, you can buy it on the website, uh, on the dark web. Now, I'm not going to indulge in the website and, 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 and show you any of that. Um, if you want to see it, 
please find it on your own. Um, I don't know. If I were to give you the addresses and show you, I libel it till you lose the YouTube channel. So just look for it. They're out there. Um, on Telegram, people have taken snippets and posted them up. Um, that Patriot missile defense system that got hit by uh, Russians' uh, hypersonic missile, they're selling parts of it on the dark web, um, you know, anywhere from $5 to you know, a couple thousand dollars, depending on what kind of part you want, you know, anyways, it says, according to the statement, the group is willing to use false paperwork to cover its tracks and may also be using other countries where it has a foothold to trafficking weapons. The Wagner Group has had an increasing significant role in the Ukraine war, including on the front lines, which has been one of the largest and bloodiest battles of the war. So now Russia is now smuggling weapons, war weapons when we know that's what ukraine's doing we know that you know it's been proven it's been factual and that you know what when when the u.s says russia's done something they don't have the receipts they don't show anything right when russia does something it has corresponding videos to prove to what they're saying They've done it time and time and time again, right? What they do is they say, okay, we've taken this. We've got this. The United States or Ukraine says, nope, they're lying. Nope, they're lying. And then boom, a video comes out of Russia showing exactly what they're talking about. Um, like, I forget where it was. It was early in the war. Russia took a city over and Ukraine ran put their flag in front of the city's um city sign and then ran away took a photo and then ran away and said nope we're still in here that was a proof of fact right um the ghost of kiev that was fake the 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 island where ukrainians told the russian chip ship to go fuck themselves was a lie wasn't true so i mean you can't believe a word that's coming out of the war on the uh, on ukraine side the only thing i could imagine is the invasion of iraq if instead of invading iraq when we when they did, if we were to have invaded Iraq today, what would the outcome of the war be? Because this war today is more of an info propaganda war than anything. And drones and smartphones have all to do with it. If we had this technology that we have now, back when they invaded Iraq, how much lies were told to us back then, right? Just just think of that. Let that sink into what lies were told to us back then, you know? Just throwing that out there. Anyways, you guys have a great evening. Have a good weekend. Spend time with your families and your children okay we don't have long time on this earth so please spend time with your families and your loved ones you all have a great day and we'll see you in the next one